Right, all right, all righty, all right. What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs, day number 1265, coming at you. Hope you're all having a great one out there. If this is your first time on my channel or on my videos, first off, welcome. Let me know if this is your first time. Leave a comment right now saying hashtag first timer. But if you've been here before, comment hashtag before over in the chat or in the comments, wherever you're at. And if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Postmates, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you should definitely be subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on. So I'll give you a second to hit that red subscribe button real quick down below and definitely tap that notification bell to the right. And let's see if we can get 200 likes on this video. 200 big ones. All right. You guys ready? Leave a comment saying, yes, Pete, I'm ready. Get on with it. All right. So this comes from Ethan. All right. So everyone say thank you, Ethan, like Ethan Allen. Remember Ethan Allen? First of all, uh, they say hello. First of all, thank you for putting out the content and everything you do for the gig workers out there, specifically DoorDash. No problem, Ethan. I have some breaking news I'd like to share and what will soon be a multiple million dollar lawsuit involving thousands of dashers. As I'm sure you're uh, uh, as I'm sure you're aware. DoorDash had a promotion for U.S.-based drivers for the month of April, where you earn $300 for completing 600 deliveries for the month of April. I completed 625 deliveries and was surprised on the first of the month when DoorDash didn't process my $300 bonus. No surprise there, Ethan. Very sorry to hear, though. I reached out to customer service and they informed me that I had only completed 209 deliveries and would not be paid the bonus. Have escalating and d disputing this claim, they then replied and said I had made 467 deliveries and yet again would not be compensated. I found multiple data inaccuracies on the platform and have in the past been short paid and even had my paycheck delayed for no reason. I've only been dashing since February 2021 but have already completed over 1,500 deliveries. I have, I have a 98% customer five-star rating and almost no complaints or issues. DoorDash is effectively telling me to go pound salt and they will not be compensating me. I consider myself a very, prof a very professional and well-organized person. I use, grind, I use Grindwise, track my own books daily without fail, and always operate in a professional manner. DoorDash has been caught in the past, and I'm guessing these data software issues go way deeper than this. I know this is a growing company with a history of payment issues to Dashers given the multi-million dollar settlements from the past. This is very true. And let me just pause for a second. How long have all of you been driving for DoorDash? Put that in the, put that in the chat or in the comments down below or the, wherever you're at on a phone or tablet. Let me know how long you've been driving. Has it been a week, a month? six months, years, put it down below. If you have been around for well over a year, you would know that they've been sued many, many, many times. So this is no surprise. Ethan goes on to say, I have emails, screenshots, and basically every piece of data proving these illegal activities and wrongful short pays. I'm beginning to ramble and it's been a 13 hour day of dashing already. I'm going to follow up tomorrow with more details and provide you with the screenshots and email conversations from DoorDash. I wanted to get this in your hands, ASAP, because I'm not stopping until every Dasher is compensated what they are rightfully owed. This is a black and white and as clear of a case as it gets. More to come. Appreciate all you do for the Dashing community, Ethan. So, what does everybody think about this? Do you think that Ethan has a case? I am not someone to give legal advice, so anything I say from this point further should not be taken as legal advice. That's my disclaimer. I think he does have a case, okay, because it's going to be his record versus theirs. And like he said, he's incredibly diligent about how he keeps records of everything he does when he's working in the gig economy, specifically DoorDash, okay? In my opinion, uh, I forget exactly what the quote is. The quote was something like, if you treat the gig economy as a job, it will pay you as a job. If you treat the gig economy as a business, it will pay you like a business. 
we can clearly see here that Ethan treats this like a business, more than a job. He has taken a very professional approach. And I think he should be rewarded for such. So if he says he did 625 deliveries, I believe him. I absolutely believe him. Um, and the fact that he said he put in a 13-hour day. When I first started in the gig economy, I was working minimum 10 to 12 or 13 hours a day. Yeah, minimum 10 to 11 for sure. Bell to bell. Um, and I remember I used to work... Yeah, like 11 a.m. is when it first st first opened. My market opened at 11 a.m. back in 2017 and closed at 11 p.m. Yeah, so no, it was 12-hour days, and I used to work bell to bell, you know? And then once they started having, like, the, the 8 a.m. times and the 7 a.m. times, you know, I was able to diversify my time, you know, a little bit better. But, yeah, man, I know what it's like to work those long days, and that's why I believe that he really did those deliveries that he said he did. So... My question to everybody is, do you agree with Ethan that DoorDash deserves to have this happen to him, a lawsuit? Yes or no? Uh, you know, be respectful, of course. Any comments that are, not, are disrespectful, I'm going to be out of here, pal. So with that being said, let me know your thoughts down below. And I do want to take this time to thank all of our uh, drivers who support on Patreon.com slash paid to drive. Okay, if you want to sign up, there's a link down below in the description or in the pin top comment. A dollar or more plus uh, every uh, month goes a long way. So uh, when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. And we've got Brian Pomeroy, Brian Richardson, Heidi Barnes, Kurt Paul, Serena Siddiqui, Tulsa Todd, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Katie Coppin, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, T. Breeze, Ginny, Th uh, Ginny Thomas, Matt Epperson, Nick G., Terrence Pacheco, and Valerie Brown. Big shout outs to all of you. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you heard your name called, like I said, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. And of course, make sure to sign up on the Get Upside Gas app. I know I'm like a broken record about it. Link is in the description down below. Uh, all you have to do is download the app for free. You pump your gas, you print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description. Download it down below. All right, everybody. And check out PayToDriveStore.com for official t shirts, hoodies, and all that good stuff. All right, so if you made it to the end, comment end351, end351, end and subscribe down below with all notifications on. I'll give you a second to do that if you haven't yet. And of course, let's see if we can get 200 likes, everybody. Just give it a quick tap, and until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep bustling, and I'll see you all next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. Enjoy the rest of your day. Tell me in the comments, are you working today or are you enjoying today just hanging out at home or doing something else? Let me know down below. See you later, everybody. Peace.